Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, I will show you how to resolve this particular error of uh, the PZ Admin 4 server could not be contacted while you start the PZ Admin 4 or any version it can be. So uh, there are many uh, reasons why this happens. Uh, one of the reason is that you recently installed some software or uh, it contains any services that is related to database engine or something or it is uh, uh, it is modifying the runtime environment of any application so one more thing is that you need to verify the first thing you need to verify is that go to services uh, you can get uh, from here or you have any other versions so basically you need to go to this services window and uh, scroll down to your postgres or any name you have given the default name is postgres let me take you to that Okay, so in my case this uh, services are running basically we need this one this is for the PC agent service uh, this is used for the uh, scheduling purpose that uh, we do for uh, uh, schedule jobs in Postgres database using PC admin okay so uh, this is other thing and this is the main service so both are running and up uh, they both are running so here we don't have any problem but if you see this is disabled or this is a uh, stop you need to start this okay but in my case uh, this is already ready so let me just restart it once okay i have restarted this and if you uh, if you can see that uh, when i restarted restarted the main service the pg agent that is also stopped because these are interlinked okay within this service only the pg agent exists if i open the pg admin pg admin successfully and log into my server i'll show you okay so for the moment let's start this server okay so uh, both services are running and up now so let's close this services window and still if you are not able to fix this and you need to make one restart of the uh, pc of your, your PC you can also try to restart or you can try to configure here okay so uh, these are saying that uh, okay these port numbers are available and what is the timeout uh, seconds okay so if uh, timeout is less or it is trying to uh, connect for more time so we can set these things here but uh, for me uh, there are other options as well uh, instead of making any changes here because it may lead to uh, some other problem because in your project you might have given port number or timeout so those things will be changed or those things will be affected so i'm not going to configure anything here so what i'll do i'll simply close this and I'll also once uh, i'll uh, take you through this report so it's basically saying that PC admin runtime environment error it is showing. So it is it also says that uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, relaunch uh, the program. Uh, before this PC admin uh, PC admin for the current version that we are using. So if you remember if you have used the PC admin or Postgres database database in older versions. So in that case, PG admin were uh, getting opened in some browser. For example, if you have Chrome browser, because it is uh, giving error for uh, Chrome thing, because Chrome browser is uh, my default browser okay, for my PC. So in your PC, whatever there is a default browser uh, that can be uh, there. So you will get such messages. So, uh, but now the thing is, PG admin uh, has uh, its own application it's not running through any other browser or default browser so if, if you can see so these things are uh, to this these are for the PG admin uh, run runtime environment okay so we, we have some problem here so let's uh, restart the means uh, uh, if you are uh, still done with the restart of your PC uh, and the error is not resolved so what you need to do is you need to relaunch the uh, PC admin. Okay, so first step is to make sure that your services are up and running. 
for postgres sql second thing you can also try to configure these things okay if this doesn't work try to restart your pc third and still if you are uh, facing this issue try to relaunch uh, the pc admin application itself okay so let me close this one and also i'll make sure that uh, in the task manager the pc admin is not uh, running okay pc admin is not running here uh, now what can i do uh, i will again try to launch the pg admin application you can also try once uh, launching the pg admin okay here it is so now our pg admin is open for my server password is root so i'll password and now i will also show you that uh, pg agent thing that i was saying that also i will show you so uh, this is the another one that pg is in job uh, for example i have scheduled some uh, scheduled job uh, using pg admin or the postgres server but i have uh, disabled or stopped that pg agent service so that uh, scheduled job will not be called and work Okay, so for that I need to keep the schedule agent, uh, this PG agent service up. Okay, so that must be running, and uh, your server must be up, and this service must be running to uh, PG agent uh, work effectively. Okay, so uh, this way uh, I have resolved the issue, and I have given you four ways. Uh, you can try each one. Uh, I am I'm hopeful that anyone will work. So. Uh, I want to do, uh, show you this error. So, okay, let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.